I've reconnected the filament lamp back to its original power supply and I've got the power meter at the side here. And what I'm going to do here is to test if it is self-regulating down. I'm going to monitor the temperature of that and monitor the power. And I've already done some tests, but um, I'll show you what's uh, happening first. So initially that started off about 3.8 watts. And I'm just going to move the lamp out of frame so that the camera can focus on a thermal imaging camera which we'll now use to look at the chip. So the chip temperature is rising, it's up to 50 degrees centigrade. And it rises. I found that in open air, the chip temperature stabilised at about 92 degrees centigrade. So it's rising up. And when it gets to about 70 degrees, that's when it starts regulating and the, the power dissipation shown by the power monitor starts dropping at that point very slowly, but it doesn't drop a lot. Um, the current, I, I broke the circuit and put a meter in and measured the current, and it started off at about 11.3 milliamps, and it only dropped about 10.83 milliamps, so not a major drop there, but uh, that was enough to sort of stabilise the temperature so it's closely rated, but it, it, in open air it certainly is reducing the power down from the original 4 watts cold to about 3.6 watts. I've managed to get it down to 3.5 by just warming the environment slightly. But um, it's obvious that if this was in the lamp cap, then it would be doing the exact opposite of a compact fluorescent lamp where you've got the annoying feature that compact fluorescent lamps start off dim and get bright. What this one does is this starts off bright and then gradually and very slowly gets dimmer down to its equilibrium value. And because your eyes automatically adjust to the bright light, you don't actually see this. So it's actually quite a, a reasonable solution. Um, and it means that that chip is doing all the dissipation. But um, I monitored the current and I'd say that when it's stabilised the voltage across the lamp with the higher current was 262 volts uh, and that was times point zero. I'll say 11 milliamps so the power dissipation in the lamp itself was 2.88 watts uh, the dissipation, I'd guess, in the chip, if you consider that the voltage across the um, capacitor is probably 336, as it was before, 336, which is rectified mains voltage, minus the 262 volts, um, equals 74 volts being dropped across that chip. I'm not going to probe into the chip, it's very tight in there and it will end up blowing up and might take the lamp out in the process. But uh, So the 74 volts being dropped across the chip times 0 0.011, 11 milliamps, equals a dissipation of, continuous dissipation of about 0.8 watts and when it reaches sort of equilibrium. So it's quite a, it's quite a significant um, temperature really. But I suppose, you know, it's not it's not an excessive temperature, but it's still it's still quite a lot. It's currently at about 92 degrees centigrade, which is the point it tends to stabilise. I'll move that into the frame so it can find it. Yeah, and it just wavers up or down one or two degrees around that point. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, quite quite a neat uh, little circuit board regardless.